This is all because of a text I got from an old friend. It's not something I had really planned, seeing how I had just gotten all my gear and my old tape machines hooked up at the home studio. But my friend Paul Diaz, who owns Tree Sound Studios, knew that I'd had a 32-channel Soundcraft Ghost at my other studio, The Zone, for years, and I loved that board. So when he thought about selling this, he thought about me. Now you might be wondering, why do you need a mixer? You can mix music in the computer now. You don't really need a mixer anymore. And that's kind of how I felt when I moved out here because I've been mixing in the box or on a computer for 20 years and I love it. And I thought that that's what I'm going to be doing, but I was wrong. And I once again find myself working with bands and my own music and doing things the way I used to do, which is using my mixing board during sessions to move sound, ideas, communication around the studio and kind of mixing that moment and sending that collaboration to the computer instead of trying to manufacture a collaboration inside the computer. But before I get to do any of that, I've got to check every single knob, switch and fader on this board to make sure that they're working right. And everything is good. But there was a little noise on a couple of the knobs and some of the faders are a little scratchy, which means now I got to open it up and do some cleaning. And like I said, this is not something I expected to be doing right now. But you can come with me as I get the ghost ready and redo the whole control room again. More to come. See you soon.